Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great start to the day thus far. And so in this video, of course, we'll be taking a look at what is expected throughout this week in terms of rainfall for the Caribbean. And we'll also be looking at some updates in terms of that front that was induced in quite a bit of activity in the northwestern part of the region. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so as we return to this uh satellite imagery here of the north atlantic we can definitely see where there is some activity here and there uh as we look in the caribbean of course uh, in the vicinity of eastern cuba there is some shower activity taking place because uh that, that front is still in the region so it is still induced in a bit of activity but for the most part it is dissipating and so as for the lesser antilles there is some activity moving in from the tropical atlantic and likely inducing showers as they make their way into the eastern caribbean and so let's go ahead and take a look at this map here and uh, this is the surface chart and so there we have that h to represent that high pressure system out there in the atlantic now that is helping to influence some of the activity that is moving into the caribbean so there's going to be that sort of trend as we head throughout this week where we have activity coming from the east and bring in rainfall at times to parts of the lesser antilles and then there we have that front that is now stationary so when we have that symbol with the blue triangle and that red semicircle that represents a stationary front and so it is as the name suggests it is stagnant at that point right now in the caribbean and as i said it is slowly dissipating so we have the cool air mass and the warmer air mass uh having a resultant of zero you can think of it as that where neither is affecting or advancing into the other so that is what happens with a stationary front and that is what it is now across the caribbean and uh going back to satellite imagery here we can see that there isn't much activity in association with it and so let's go ahead and look at the rainfall total that is expected as we progress throughout the week and so we're going to be starting out with the euro and uh, we'll be looking at the 24 hour precipitation total and so uh, if you're unfamiliar with this map here, the different shades over to the right side of your screen with the values beside them is basically to uh, show how much rainfall in inches a particular area is expected to receive. And so this is between today and tomorrow on Wednesday. We can see here where there is uh, quite a bit of activity that is expected for some areas, especially where we have those blue shades. So for parts of uh, Cuba, eastern Cuba, as well as Central America, including uh, Belize, as well as Guatemala, and even into sections of Honduras and Nicaragua. And so in the case of heavy rainfall, guys, please do not attempt to cross flooded roadways. Do not take any unnecessary risks. And so... Uh, as we're going to be heading into uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we can see that the rainfall total across those areas is decreasing. Of course, we've got that front making its way out. So uh, it's really just the remnants that would be remaining remaining in the area. And then in the Eastern Caribbean, we've got the activity streaming in from the tropical Atlantic and inducing some showers. We can even see some of those blue spots just in the vicinity of Dominica. And of course, the other surrounding islands are going to be experiencing some increased activity as well. And then between Thursday Thursday and Friday, we can definitely see where the northeastern Caribbean is clearing up in terms of rainfall, so not much rainfall activity expected at that time. However, for the rest of the Lesser Antilles and even down into the ABC Islands, we can see where some rainfall is likely. And then as we head into Sunday, between Saturday and Sunday, uh, that activity is going to be clearing up for the region. And a new pattern is likely going to be setting up, but of course, in future updates, we'll be talking about that. So in all between now and uh, next Sunday, we can see here that this is the amount of rainfall the euro expects across the Caribbean. And then highest total is expected in Central America as well as over into parts of the Lesser Antilles. And then as for the GFS model, similar story here, but we can see that some higher totals are expected for some areas, especially where we have that lilac shade indicating the minimum of two inches 
terms of rainfall and so guys that is what is on the horizon in terms of rainfall activity and of course areas that are likely to be receiving uh, quite a bit of rainfall between now and tomorrow could also experience minor flooding in the more flood prone areas so guys uh, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe I remember yesterday it was raining quite heavily here in Jamaica and uh, there was an area that was becoming significantly inundated so do not attempt to cross flooded roadways anytime there is a heavy rainfall event and do not take any unnecessary risks and so i'm going to be keeping you updated as we progress throughout this week and that is pretty much it for now and so i hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with the wise